most valuable organ um, in lupus and the one that we really care most about when it comes to treatment of lupus and we really aim to save in these patients is their kidney, what we call lupus nephritis. Now, when these immune complexes that I mentioned reach through the bloodstream to the kidney and starts to deposit themselves in the kidney, in particular in the glomerulus, based on where they deposit themselves and how, what's the extent of this deposition, we classify lupus nephritis from class one being the most mild and class six being the most severe, which is the end stage level. Now, um, once they start, these immune complexes start to deposit in the first in the mesangial area, that is classified as class one and class two. Now, with when this class, it is very mild. You will barely see any proteinuria or hematuria, probably plus one if any. Now, once these immune complexes start to deposit in other areas, such as the subendothelial la layer, and that's very close to the bloodstream, so once they start to deposit there, you will start to see more hematuria, um, more blood being um, thrown into the urine, and you'll also start to see more proteinuria as well. And um, moving on to class 5, which is very unique, once these immune complexes start to deposit themselves in the subepithelial layer, this becomes a problem. The reason is, the subepithelial layer is very close to the basement membrane. And the basement membrane is very valuable part of the glomerulus. Um, and it is the main barrier to all those proteins from leaking out into the urine. So once the immune complex is started depositing there, that will cause damage to this basement membrane and you'll start to see leaking of significant amount of protein in the urine, plus four. Now, what's unique about this stage is that sometimes patients skip through all these four stages and their immune complexes is only deposited in this layer. And if that's the case, you will only see proteinuria, but no hematuria. And this is what we call nephrotic syndrome. So patients with lupus can actually present with only nephrotic syndrome, not going through the uh, first four stages, the nephritic syndrome first. And in this case, we call it membranous nephropathy. And however, they can also present as a, um, a progression of all those stages and in that case they will present with severe proteinuria and severe hematuria as well. And once they start depositing more than 90% of the glomerulus, that's what we call class 6 and this is end stage level and in that case your choices will be hemodialysis or kidney transplant in that case. Now, when, when you suspect lupus nephritis with the, with the urine analysis, you see that proteinuria, you see that hematuria, it is not enough for you to say, yes, this, these findings are secondary to lupus nephritis. It's not enough for you to say that until you get the biopsy. And, once, and the biopsy will also help you stage that lupus nephritis, know where you are in terms of the classes, and based off that, you want to, you, it will tell you how aggressive you want to be in terms of the treatment. And